What is going before you do this? I'm Chris saying we're back with some more Final Fantasy 16. Last time we left off, we um faced our inner demons and now have complete control of it for it. But hey guys doing guys doing great guys doing Gucci. Come see Julius down, get a snack in the bed, and uh let's head back. Do I have any side missions around here? Uh, I do not. Bit. As you see, we're still in the dim. We have better control over Ifrit. We have Ifrit abilities now. So I decided to mix. Fogel, what is it? Nothing good, I'll wager. Come on. Oh shit. I decided to combine it for and Phoenix attacks for my fire. Torque was on a run, man. He out there. That's not going anymore. I don't like that. Oi. What's going on? Oh, shit. Here. Oh, you guys fucked up. Imperials. You pay for this. Oh, we've got a live one. What are you doing here? Answer me. <laughs> Remember our orders? No survivors. Your mom's no survivors. Who would order such a thing? Over here. I will limit break on all your asses. That's another thing we got a limit break too. Gotta be pissed off. Hell yeah, I did. Born a slave, and you'll die one. Kill all of the ducal dogs. Ducal dogs. They were innocent people. I will kill any clergyman. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's keep going. Got more fuck McGee's around here? Sure do. Well, shit. Is that Lady Hannah's? What the All fuck is that? Burn. The bearers and those who sheltered them. By Empress Annabella's command. What the hell is that thing? My mother ordered this. Right. Yeah, you thought you were slick. 
Oh shit, you got me with that. Bitch. Shit, I mean. But shit, our mama sent them? That's bullshit. Such a wicked, wicked lady. Oh, hell yeah. Is Lady Hannah dead? Yep, she's right there. It's fucked up. And the mayor, too. I'm sorry, Lady Hannah. You deserved so much better. She All sure these did. people did. Better than my mother. Oh, we're too late. It's Gav. Gav. Clive. What up, man? Missed you. Acting on the orders of the Duchess, eh? Yep. Sure was. The bitch. We knew East Pole was harboring bearers. Thought they were safe enough hidden up here, but someone must have let slip. The mayor? If they'd have only come to us sooner, none of this would have had to happen. Fuck! My mother always did despise bearers. The way father embraced them when the other nations spat on them as slaves. The way an accident of birth gave them a power that others lacked. But why kill everyone? They meant no harm. They just wanted to be free. This world judges that a crime punishable by death. Which is why we're going to change it. Hell yeah. Gav, we want to help. Thought you'd got your own stuff to be getting on with. We do. But it can wait. In that case, we should head back and tell Sid you've had a change of heart. He was always on it yet to join us. All right. And we'd best be quick. Last I heard, he was planning another excursion. What about the villagers? Oi! Can I leave you's lot to take care of things here? Of course. We'll make sure they get a proper burial. Thank you. All of you. You guys are the best. When you're ready then. I feel sorry for all of them. Especially Lady Hannah. She did so much for us. Lead me to your nest. Isn't that the courier, dude? Lord Kuka has a message for your leader. If only he knew where to send it. <laughs> so that's a snitch. It's a chocobo, dude. What a dick. Sid Sola, then. We have a lot to discuss. Yeah, yeah, we do. Anything new in here? No. We got more Moogles. Don't mind me. Just 
That's fine, take a breather. What up, baby girl? If we can keep running. Or we can walk through this door. See less. Anything for you. This place is getting more crowded by the day. I tell myself the bustle's a blessing. There'll be time enough for quiet contemplation when I'm dead. So, did you find the answers you were looking for? I. I still don't know what to make of this gift, curse, or whatever it is I've been given. But there is one thing I can say for certain. I am a dominant. Ifrit. And there is nothing I can do to change that. It is a burden I must bear until my dying day. Hell yeah. Shit. Spoken truth. Forgiveness and in turn salvation can only begin with acceptance. It's a path we all must walk. No matter how colourful our histories. Sid, you once told me that you wanted to build a place where people could die on their own terms. I did. I've been thinking about that. Why not a place where people can live on their own terms? Hell yeah. For 13 years, killing was all I knew. So obsessed with death that I never stopped to consider the lives of those around me. Lives that I see now were scarcely worth living. Be they bearers or beggars, most but march blindly to their end, never realizing that they too deserve a choice. And I dare not turn a blind eye to their suffering any longer. So, atonement then, is it? That was the answer we found. The only one we need. Kick ass and chew bubblegum. I'll be expecting you both to pull your weight. And we will. <laughs> well then, with a sprinkle of fire and ice, this plan of mine might just work. <sighs> what trouble are you looking to get yourself into now? The best kind. We're going to sneak into the Imperial Capital. Oh hell yeah. And pay a visit to Mother. Damn straight. That's my new revenge spot. of our farm holds in the eastern provinces has succumbed to the blight. Without their yield, we will be hard-pressed to fill the capital's granaries before winter. If there is a capital by then, the black creeps closer as we speak. And yet you do naught but ball and bluster. Who the hell's that? If it is fertile land the Empire requires, we need but look south. Uh, if you mean the crystalline Dominion's holdings, we are bound by mutual accord. Theirs is a neutral state whose borders we are sworn to respect. Gentlemen, did we swear to see our people starve? Well, I really do think this. The gates of Oriflam buckle at the flood of those come seeking refuge from the blight. If there is not grain enough to feed those within our walls, how, pray tell, will we feed those without? But instead of setting your minds to riddles such as these, 
you lock horns with an enemy from across the sea, sending our soldiers to the slaughter in their thousands. The Empire bleeds, and you sit here prattling like crones in a tea house. It's got a fact. And you fancy yourselves leaders of men. Van Breck is naught without her citizens. We are but their servants. If their land is being wrested away, it is our duty to claim new lands for them. Your radiance! You cannot mean a war of conquest. That is exactly what I mean. Spoken like a true time power. We expanded our dominion. This is the will of great Grieger. <laughs> there will be uproar. Then we must find a way to distract the citizenry. But how much will that cost? And what of our legion? Shall we raise the furs? Well, someone will have to contend with the Delmex. I will not keep you. You all have much to do. Where is my son? The Lord Prince is currently garrisoned at the Strait of Ortha. If it please you, I can send word requesting his immediate return to the Holy Capital. That won't be necessary. Tell him instead to see to his wounds. Bahamut's strength will be needed again soon. Oh, shit. As you command. Sounds conflicting. I must have misheard. You mean to tell me that the Mother Crystals are the reason the world is dying? Are you mad? Oh, I have shit. been called that on occasion, but no, not today. We've all seen it firsthand. Empty wastes where once were green meadows. Land drained so dry of its ether, not even the rats remained. But where was it all going? I spent years searching for an answer, until I saw it standing right in front of me. There, in the self-same crystals, we look to for their so-called blessing. All right, listen. Take this crystal. Uh -huh. How does it allow us to conjure magics? Answer, by drawing ambient ether from the air. Oh yeah? And where do these crystals come from? That's easy. They're mined from the mother crystals. They're one and the same. Although, admittedly, this here fits more easily in the pocket. But the mother crystals are massive. Some as large as mountains. So you see the problem? Imagine just how much ether can be drawn by something that size. Okay. As to where it's all going, mind. Well... I can't know everything, can I? I see what you're putting down. We are told that the mother crystals are divine. Their ether a gift from the heavens. For centuries, nations have fought and fallen for want of that gift. If what you say is true, how did no one else see it? Who says they didn't? Maybe the truth was inconvenient. Inconvenient to whom, exactly? The Empire. Man. Anyone? The higher ups. The gods themselves. So now you want to do something about the crystals? And what? We're not helping bearers and dominance anymore. I didn't say that. I made a promise and I intend to keep it. But if we continue down this path, there's only one fate that awaits the realm. And we can't very well set our people free if they're all lying dead in a blighted ditch. True. Not if we want to create a place where they can live on their own terms anyway. 
sort of defeats the purpose. So, if we have to bring the old world crashing down in order to build us a new one, what say you? Are you with me? Hell yeah. You're my homie. Of course I'm with you. I Shit. suppose it's about time I repaid your faith. <laughs> you could have just said I. But it's nice to have you aboard all the same. That's about right. So who's excited for the expansion packs that are coming out for this? There's one there, two, two side missions. Make it quick. What do you want? Flame tongue. Oh yeah. Bad, if I do say so myself. Weaker. And everything else is weaker. Anything else? What up, you old crone? What you got? So what God's forsaken corner of the realm is Sid dragging you off to this time? Or a flam. The holy capital. And what business would you lot have in... On second thoughts, I don't want to know. That costs 10? I have that. I don't have that. Sounds good to have that. You'll not find a better price than that. Do I have anything to sell for you? Anything here I got doubles of? Nope. It's all for crafting. Yep. I don't even use it anyway, so fuck it. Speaking of Oriflam, I hear the trading routes leading south have seen more than double the usual traffic. If you ask me, some at Fowl's Brewing, and it's in Tyre's Borbile Tea. Good enough. Just go and see Otto, will ya? Alright. Wait, who's excited for the expansions? I wonder what they're going to be about. You've lost a letter. Nothing too important, I hope. Not just a letter. I lost everything. There's a hole in my damn pack, and fool that I am, I didn't bloody notice. It's okay, it happens. It can't be that bad, surely. How could it be any worse? I'm a courier. I carry things. If I can't do my job right, then what am I good for? Nothing, that's what. I buggered it right up. That means no herbs for the infirmary, and no fresh meat for our cooking pots. Worst of all, that letter I lost? It was for Sid. A letter he's been waiting on for days. Maybe if you retrace your steps. I'd scour storm from coast to coast if I could, but there are curse breakers in the field, counting on my arrival. No, I'll just have to own up to Otto and Sid. They're gonna skin me alive. I'll help you out. Fine. Tell me where to look. Are you serious? Thank you. 
It sounds like the hideaway could use those supplies. So, where should I start? Gotan's bales, perhaps? I took a tumble in the bushes when I was passing through. There's a chance my pack might have caught on something. If you can find everything I dropped, you'll be doing us all a favor. And if you can find Sid's letter, you'll be saving my life. Bit sealess. I'll find it. Wonderful. Now, I have to run if I'm to make my next delivery in time. I trust you can find your way to Gotan's bales. Oh, and hurry, will you? Sid doesn't like to be kept waiting. I'm sure he doesn't. The letter won't last very long out in the elements. I should make for Sambrek as soon as I can. Yeah. But yeah, hopefully. Let me guys know, let me get my let me know. Otto barking at his lot earlier. Let me know if you're excited for the expansion. As well as who's your favorite character in this game so far? I like Sid. Where are you, Randall? Is everything alright? Forgive me, young man. I was in a world of my own. I'm worried about my friend, you see. He left some time ago and hasn't returned. And you know what it's like out there for a bear on his own. Why leave the safety of the hideaway? For coin. Sad though it is, our need outweighs the risk. The hideaway can't survive on goodwill alone. And though Karen does what she can, her coffers aren't bottomless. Wait. You were a soldier, were you not? In the Imperial Army. I was. Then, might I ask a favor of you? I'm too old to be traipsing hither and yon. Will you go and find him for me? Hell yeah. I'll do what I can. Oh, thank you. What can you tell me about your friend? His name is Randall, and I suspect you'll find him in Lost Wing. He's been working for Quinton, the tavern keeper. He'll know something, I'm sure. I'll speak to him. Safe travels, my friend. And thank you again. Be it. Alright, so. We got Mission over here. Mission over here. We'll go here first, then here. We'll go all the way back here, do the main quest. Sounds like a plan. Do we have a whole bunch of side quests that just opened up in this area? If that's the case, then fuck. <laughs> ah, if it isn't Sid's young protege. To what do I owe the pleasure? What's up, dog? I'm looking for a bearer called Randall. I hear he's been coming to you for work. He was expected back at the hideaway some time ago. A friend of his asked me to check on him. Randall, you say? The porter. Yes, yes, I know him. And I can't say I'm surprised if he has been delayed. I gave him enough to do. Though, thinking about it, he should probably have been back by now. I'll go and look for him. Where was he headed? He was to meet an associate of mine to the south of here, on Lorbert's path. I do hope nothing's happened to him. Be sure to let me know, Clive. All right. Sun's setting fast. Let's go and get this stuff done.
Damn, it's far away. Can I run? Just me? Yep. It's my squad. We're going squad deep. There we go. There goes my running. I've been here in a while. I've been here since we fall. What's her face? Randall knew he didn't play the hero, but <coughs> Reckless Sod insisted on drawing him off. Where did this happen? Further down the road, in the clearing. Please, you have to see that he's safe. I'll do what I can. You go back to Lost Wing and tell Quentin what happened. Bet, say less. So what have you guys been up to lately? Finally, finally decided to uh, Goblins. play Boulder's Gate. Why am I not surprised? There, boy. <laughs> Took me 500 years. <laughs> and it's a pretty fun game, I'm not gonna lie. It makes my PC. Hot as hell. And I tried to play it on a Steam Deck, and the quality is so garbage on Steam Deck. playing Boar's Gate. I unlocked all the characters that I could see I could unlock at first, which is pretty cool. But yeah, like I said, it made my PC run hot. That shit's strong. And then not only that, it made my Steam Deck run hot too. You're dead or are you still alive? No, you're dead. Like, my PC fans weren't running really high. It was just my system itself was just heating up. Like, you could feel the heat just blowing out the back. And like I said, when it comes to Steam Deck, it makes it look... It still looks pretty, it's just facial hair looks like ass. And it kills your battery on your Steam Deck. Like, you probably get like a good... Hour. But overall, it's a fun game. Highly recommend. Still trying to figure my way around it. It's gonna take me a while. Not sure how the romance works or what your um guard is about. Still trying to figure that out. 
Hello? You're supposed to have a, you're, you make your own guard to protect you, but I haven't ran into that guard yet. Ah, and like I said, are. I think I unlocked all the pain you can get in the beginning. What happened. And I can't help but notice you're alone. Damn it. I feared as much. He's not far from the south gate. I trust you'll do right by him. Of course. I'll send someone right away. I knew he was brave. No, I didn't know he was reckless. Poor fool. Had you known him long? A while. I liked the fact that he didn't shy away from dangerous work. And he liked what I paid. Because it helped keep the hideaway afloat. I'll tell Sid what happened here. I expect he'll be none too pleased to learn of Randall's fate. And I suppose you're none too happy either. For your trouble. Don't worry about compensating me. Just do right by us. Alright, now we gotta go do these other questy quick quest quests. Hopefully I get these done fast and we can start some more story missions, but it doesn't look like that. That's the one thing I've been seeing people complain about a lot about what Final Fantasy 16 is that it's primarily cutscene and very little combat. The courier said his pack might have split while he was passing through the bales. I better keep my eyes open. Looks like I'm in the right area. But oh, honestly, I'm not worried about that at all. I actually dig these cutscenes because I, I like the stories. More of the lost supplies. And it's not like we're missing out on action. I doubt he could have fit much more in his pack. Still no sign of Sid's letter, though. I've come this far. Might as well ask around. Yeah, really? Like I said, I, I actually enjoy the cutscenes in this. A fairly good amount. I like the story. Combat's not that bad. I'm just cheesing it. To be picking grapes, aren't you? Are you here for Master Quentin? I'm looking for a letter someone dropped nearby, and I suppose you've seen it. Can't say I have, sorry. Well, if you do... Wait, I did pass a dog with something in its mouth a little while back. Could have been a piece of paper. No idea if it was your letter, but you never know. Which way did it go? Towards Lost Wing. Seemed well looked after to me. Dare say someone there's been feeding it. To the village then. Thank you. We just came for there. I didn't see no dog. Shit. The only dog I've seen is Torgal, and he ain't a dog. He's family. It's looking to be a fine harvest. Your mom's looking to be a fine harvest. No, I'm looking for a dog. The shad's all salted and smoked. What? You got green magic? A whole day on the line and they're still not dry. I believe it. Oi. Dog. Stop scratching that paper. It seems we have our culprit. Sorry, boy. 
Someone's waiting for this. He's waited long enough already. Hopefully this will keep our career out of trouble. Bit. And we're gonna go over here. I know I said when I first played this that I was going to do the side missions on my own time instead of on your time. But I can't help it. It's just right here. Maybe I should just own up. There you are. I just got back to the hideaway and thankfully Otto hasn't seen me yet. I, I don't suppose you, um... Found the things you dropped. I did. I was so sure they'd be gone. And the letter? Only a little worse for wear. <sighs> no more skulking about in the shadows for me then. <laughs> and all thanks to you. Losing those supplies was one thing, but if Sid had found out about that letter... Is it about Cursebreaker business? Uh, if only. It's from his daughter. She's off studying in Canver, and her letters are all that keeps Sid sane while she's away. You never daughter, huh? The daughter. Well, he's a busy man. And thanks to you, he won't be wasting his time smiting careless couriers with leaven bolts. So I'd say you did us both a service. Here. For your troubles. Oh hell yeah. If there's anything you're wanting from Sid, today's the day. You'll be sweet as honey once he gets his hands on this. Pretty cool. Fuck out of here, chicken. What's going on with this? Damn the Hermas. Arcade mode. What? Appearance. Uh. Ooh, that's tough. Onion sword. I don't like that much. Mm, Invictus is what we got from our daddy. Braveheart. Don't care much. Blood sword. I do like. Stormcry is pretty cool looking. Gaia Blade, not so much. Imperial Infantry Blade, not so much either. But I'm not gonna lie, I might go with this. Let's check it out. Does it fit my sword caddy? My sheath? For the most part. I dig it. But I do want to check one thing though. All right. You must be Otto. You can wait a second. Homie. And how might this old soul be of service? I have a few new notes that might interest you. I'll tell you about my adventures. Now this. I oh hell yeah. Find most Nah, I just want to tell you about it. Study the tomes? Nope, I just want to tell you about my adventures. So you're really going through with it? Since been talking about bringing down a mother crystal, since I've known him, that's all it's ever been. Talk. He's convinced it's the right thing to do. We'll be leaving for the capital shortly. Well, you couldn't have picked a better moment. Seems the eye in the Royalists gave him more than enough to dampen old Sylvester's spirits. His legions are on the march again. This time, due south. Sounds like a plan. The war. All as the great Grieger wills it. Bloodthirsty little miss, that one. Well, it's gods for you, innit? Still, might work to our advantage on this occasion. Wars breed chaos. On the front lines, and at home, 
with a fair wind behind them, a handful of like-minded ne'er-do-wells could melt into the back alleys of Oriflam. No trouble. It's making it to the capital that's the problem. The checkpoint. That's right. Anyone travelling in or out of Oriflam has to go through Northreach. Lucky for you. I might just know of a way. Oh, hell yeah. There's... Well, no, not that. That gets you an audience with the Dane. And it's the Dane who'll see you safely through Northreach. I'll send a Stolas in the morning. Let her know you're coming. We go way back. And she's a true friend of the cause. I'm sure you'll get on like a house on fire. That's good of you, but... Who is this dame, and where will I find her? She's the proud proprietress of Northreach's foremost house of ill repute. The Vale. And she's quite a woman, if you know what I mean. A woman? Oh, hell yeah. Right. <laughs> Don't go blind, you know, with your charm now, lad. I'll be expecting a full report when you get back. I'll give you full detail. What you looking at? What's this about? Now available for viewing by speaking to Gaunt. Uh, highway mass. These reports compiled by the Curse Prickers contain information on quests currently available. I suppose that's everything. Now to find Gav. You. Oh, you're the new lad, aren't you? Goat at your service. Well, at the hideaway service, anyway. Gout. Otto's so put gout. me in charge of reading through the reports sent in by our allies and picking out any problems that might warrant the attention of the curse breakers. Or any other willing volunteers. And there's no shortage of problems, I can tell you. <laughs> or well, maybe I don't have <laughs> to. I'll warrant a strapping lad like you's got people begging him for help wherever you go. Anyway, if you're ever interested in taking a look over the list, just say the word. Word. Reckon you could probably tick off the odd thing here and there. They say little acts of kindness are their own reward. But if that ain't enough, these have got proper bounties on them and all. Here you go. So it's basically side missions. Think you can help? Yep. So next time we are gonna continue on, go see this veil and get this play in motion one thank you guys so much for watching. Please like Scott comment favorite. And until then later. Girl.